Airbus. The first Juneteenth as a federal holiday will happen this weekend, but in Norwich they've been celebrating for decades. News 8's Tina Detell was there today. This is far from the first Juneteenth commemoration in Norwich. We were the first city to acknowledge Juneteenth in this state. And we've been doing it for over three decades. But it is a very special one. It's now the 11th of our uh, federal national holidays. That bill was signed into law by President Biden just yesterday. And today, Congressman Joe Courtney brought an embossed copy of it back from Washington. I want to present Thank this you. to you today to Thank Norwich you. NAACP and all the great work you've done to get us to this historic moment yes. today. So thank you very much. Thank you. In stark contrast, Reverend David Good read the details of the bill of sale for a toddler in 1729. Jane, about three years old, was sold to a man in line, quote, to have and to hold, possess and enjoy as his own proper estate free and clear to him and to his heirs during her natural life. The first Juneteenth was celebrated in Galveston, Texas, where the last slaves learned of their freedom on June 19, 1865, two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation, which declared their freedom, was signed by President Lincoln. There's more that needs to be done, and we are far from finished. Norwich's Freedom Bell served as a backdrop for today's Juneteenth commemoration. Now, it was installed here back in 2012 to mark the 150th anniversary of the Emancipation Proclamation. And the city really has a special tie to President Lincoln. It was one of his campaign stops as he ran for president. The Freedom Bell rang as the Juneteenth flag was raised. I know in my heart that in the near future, all that we have wished for, all the hard work that we have done will come. In Norwich. Tina Detail, News 8. And new tonight, a Juneteenth celebration in New Haven. The Black and Hispanic Caucus hosted its annual Juneteenth Remembrance and Prayer for the Ancestors tonight at Edgewood Pond. We're here today to celebrate our ancestors and give thanks to them for what they have done. And hopefully that we will continue to do the work that they have done and the foundation that was laid by them that we continue to build on it.